Monsters, Hello. bitches, and gentlefolk, welcome to Tabletop Titties, a queer and feminist live Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition actual play podcast run entirely by people of marginalized genders. My name is Charlene Bear, and I'll be your dungeon goddess this evening. My pronouns are she, her, and you can call me Char. My fey wildish players today are ready to go. Hello, my name is Sarah Mayfield. My pronouns are she, her, and today I... Like always, I'm playing Wilbur <laughs> Adamith Myandis the Third, and he, him, he is a half elf sorcerer. And how he's doing today? He is super excited because he has finally paid Mila back. So now he just <laughs> needs to work on paying Steve back because he promised uh, Steve a bunch of jewels for going and doing the trials. It's <laughs> amazing. Hello, everyone. My name is Rachel Thielade. My pronouns are she, her, and I will be playing Borba Skullcleaver, the orc barbarian, as per usual. Uh, her pronouns <laughs> are also her. <laughs> Borba is uh, feeling pretty focused on winning this competition. We we did a pretty good job killing Lockmore pretty, f- pretty freaking quickly, too, so she's feeling a little confident. We'll see if that's uh, overconfidence, but yeah. Bonsoir, my name is Amanda Lorenzo, my pronouns are she, her, and I play Mila Thornfire! She is a lightfoot halfling bard, and she's she's feeling really happy because she rolled really well for her sea shanty. But <laughs> she <is> rolled? Also... <laughs> I rolled pretty well for her sea, sea shanty. Sea, sh- sea shanty. And, but you know, it ended, so she's a little bit sad because of that. Oh, yeah. It's okay, we can sing more. <laughs> hey, everybody. My name is Emily Matchett, and I play the gnome rogue Steve. Uh, my pronouns are she, her, and Steve's pronouns are also she, her. And today, Steve is, uh, well, she's glad that she survived the Lockmore stuff and didn't get caught, even though it was real close, um, and is very curious what's in the scroll that she has that no one else knows about. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Geek. Right. And today we're joined by a very special guest. Woohoo! Josephine, <laughs> hi. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, I guess I will. I'm Josephine McAdam. <laughs> hello. Um, I will be playing Skula today. My pronouns are honestly whatever you'd like. She, they sometimes feel like he's, but she works. She, her, if that's the easiest to remember. Um, and I believe Skula's pronouns are she, her. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. And uh, do do I describe? The Skula is waiting for some mighty adventures to come free her. <laughs> is very excited for that. Yeah. Do you have any special projects that you want to shout out right now? Oh, um, yes. Right now, I have a sci-fi tabletop RPG show that just started its second season called Eclipse. It uses the Mothership RPG system. And that is every Friday at 7 p.m. on twitch.tv slash jcvim. Nice. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> cool. Uh, and I also want to say that the role of, or the character of Skula was created by Hit Point Press. They have a bunch of DM resources, uh, cool character creations, magic items. So hit them up if you would like to see some cool characters like Skula. Uh, before we dive into our 13th session, we have some sponsors to thank. Oh, Wilmer Adamith, my Ennis the third here, and I just got back from the Geekwood.ca online store. Their friendly shopkeeper showed me their epic dice sets, gorgeous dice vaults, and other original handcrafted one-of-a-kind D&D accessories. I bought one of their charisma D&D, charisma boosting D&D pins, and I loved it so much. I had a word with Geekwood's master of coin. If you use the promo code TITTIES with double Ds, you can add a free D&D pin to your next order. And if you live in Canada, shipping is free on all orders. That's geekwood.ca for all your luxury D&D needs. Have you heard of Nerdy Narwhal Co? Everyone is talking about them. Their hand-polished manufactured dice and handmade nerdy earrings are a must. Darling, if you aren't rolling with a Nerdy Narwhal dice, what's the point? 
Plus, their Canadian beautiful British Columbia cannot compare with the beauty of their glittery, colorful, lustrous dice. Stop on by their Etsy store and use my promo code Tabletop Titties, all caps, no spaces, darling, and get yourself 15% off on me. That's Nerdy Narwhal Co. on Etsy. What are you waiting for? Go now. Where do I, Borba, go to unwind? The Stormcrow Alehouse, a sports bar but for geeks, is a community space where everything from the decor to the design of the menus are filled with science fiction and horror fandoms. My usual at the Stormcrow Alehouse is the Dungeon Burger and their random shots. You roll a d20 and let the whims of fate build your burger and choose your shooter. They have vegan and gluten-friendly options and a carefully curated selection of 20-plus local beers on tap and signature cocktails like Romulan Ale, Butterbeer and Cthulhu Tiki. Storm Crow Ale House, Canada's most apocalyptic bar, is open for dine in, delivery, and takeout. Get your geek on with Geeky Tendencies Game Gear. Keep your game night essentials at your fingertips. Their dire dice bags feature unique pockets to hold your pencils, note cards, spell books, and a huge amount of dice. And why stop there? Stay organized with Tiny Tomes card albums, perfect for keeping track of your spells, magic items, or monsters. Level up your game with collapsible dice trays that pack flat and snap up quickly into a tray. Protect your fancy math rocks and your, and your friend's tabletop. Make your game night epic at Geeky Tendencies on Etsy or geekytendencies.com. Fancy math rocks. I love it. Ooh. Today, Ooh. we're also going to be using <laughs> Sirenscape uh, for the second time, trying to make our stream more immersive. If you like what you hear and you want to have the same experience for your own games, make sure you check them out at sirenscape.com. Woohoo. And we have some shout outs today. The first. Uh, uh, Twitch channel that we're shouting out is draw uh, dragons in the dining room. Last week I called them dungeons in the dragon in the dining room, but I lied. Uh, <laughs> dragons in the dining room is a live actual play D and D stream with a group of great people who have come together to play and goof around. You can join them on Mondays at six p.m. to discuss anything D and D or just chill and talk. Uh, you can also join them on Wednesdays and Saturdays uh, at 4 p.m. and Sundays at 2 p.m. for one of their various games where you can interact with them and affect what happens in their game. Welcome to the dining room. Uh, the other streamer shouting out today is Toothless Entertainment. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. It's a collective of new media artists and creators based in Vancouver, BC, just like us. They Whoa. hope to build some positive change in the world by producing excellent content to entertain and help people in a myriad of ways. Their ultimate goal is to become a community contribution corporation and use any additional funding to help artists fund their own projects. You can join the Toothless Entertainment Collective on Something Wicked, their weekly gothic horror meets comedy D&D &D campaign on Wednesdays from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. PST. Nice. They're awesome. Their they're something wicked stuff is so good. So Ooh. last time on Tabletop Titties, Marge's favorites were transported into the Feywilds. Their only task, searching for Skula the Lost Fey. Mila and Wilmer were bewitched by two pixies and separated from the group. But thankfully, due to some quick tree branch shaking, our adventurers were reunited. <laughs> they found Skula deep in the forest in an underground glade in a vined prison which had three odd stumps nearby with symbols etched into its side she sent them on a mission to get back her gold ring the only key that could free her from her magical viney prison which was being guarded by lockmore the swamp elemental through a well-devised plan of distraction acrobatics and water breathing the team managed to defeat lockmore and gather his treasure from the bottom of the swamp Borba has a new set of armor, the group has some gold, and Steve stole the rest of the chest's contents. <laughs> now, how will they find their way back to Skula? So you've all just defeated Lockmore. Steve emerged from the water, dripping wet and heading into the tree line. Steve, the chest items you stole were an oil of slipperiness and a scroll of an unknown spell wrapped in seaweed. You all look out over the forest of tall trees with a thin layer of pink misty fog floating over the forest floor and try to spot your clues. So let's start off with that perception check for everyone. Okay. I got a 10. I got 17. an 18. 
I got a 17. Ooh, yeah, everybody ooh, passed. Ooh, ooh, um, ooh. You yes. do not find the bits of sausages that Morva uh, <laughs> left behind. I forgot I left those. Yes, okay. <laughs> but um, you do all see markings that Steve etched into the trees. As, like, Wilmer's looking, he's, like, walking while he looks at his map and being like, I, I, this is, I know this is the way we came, but this is definitely not what I wrote down. <laughs> <laughs> you just, you did your best, darling. Um, right. Yeah, let's Floof. follow those markings. While, while we're walking, Floof is out of the bag. Floof is, for anybody new who's watching, is my trusty tabby cat who is with me always. And he is walking but along beside me, very disappointed that there are no more sausage pieces on the ground because he clearly <laughs> remembered me throwing them on the ground. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, buddy. We can get more sausages when we get back. It's fine. <laughs> Clove is just chilling. On Clove your shoulder metal. or on the on floor? My, on on my shoulder, oh, well, uh, on the floor, because they're uh, all light up and st lit up and stuff, right? Yeah. Clove is my uh, oh, yeah. severed hand for anyone that's. But that not your own severed hand. Oh, someone no, no, no. I have both hands. hands so it's, it's not someone weird. else's hand. Someone yeah, else's hand. A hands. paladin's hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And can I have a. Who is leading the pack right now? Um, probably, probably Steve. Yeah, because yeah, I. Yeah. Yeah, well, you would know, and incorrect you would some know the too. markings, yeah. Cool. And Borba, did you want to put on your armor that you found? Yeah, I'm going to assume that at some point I'm going to be like, guys, don't look. I'm going to go back. Just like, wait a second. But like, don't, don't look. <laughs> don't watch and me. I go behind, don't, I go behind a tree and I'm just like, I want to try these on. And I put the, put it on and I'm like, I come out. What do you, what do you, does it look Okay. Darling, you look absolutely oh, fabulous. <gasps> that means you're like coming from me. I was gonna say, Steve, if you're like, do you mean that? Or are you just being nice though? Because sometimes I think you're just being nice. <laughs> it matches your bow, so it's all good. Oh, okay, cool. Because yeah. I'm wearing the I'm wearing the blue ones right now, so that's cool. I okay. am extraordinarily sincere all the time. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you're pretending to be nice. Yeah. Okay, that's Steve. Right. That's sure. Okay. <laughs> Steve, can I have an investigation check from you to continue on your path? Or nature, whichever is higher. 15. Yeah, you see um, another one of your um, markings on the tree. The one that says, like, it, this is not the correct way. Uh, mm -hmm. But your eyes scan back, so you're continuing the path. Cool. Yay. Oh, we just, we just walking? Yeah, you're just walking. We just walking. Okay, cool. So, so Steve... Yeah. I have a question for you. Um, yes, darling. Why did you get stabbed? I've been curious about that too. Like, why? Why do you? Why do yeah. you think? Why do you think that someone would stab you? Uh, this is very bold of you to just outright ask that. Well, I you mean, see, um... I saw you get stabbed, so I'm just wondering because I was worried. So, I'm the like, prince, so like I'm used to like people trying to stab me, um, but like you are a seamstress. That is so rude. That yeah, is very I was say, rude. That's... You, Wilmer. What are you trying to say there, man? <laughs> Saying Wilmer. that seamstresses can't get stabbed. Fine, I'll try to stab you right stabbed. now. Do you want to go? And he's no. Gonna... <laughs> like, I'll, I'll, Let's go. I will fight you and he like like twists his hand around in the little like 1920s like boxer pose i will go and hit please but, don't hit me but for <laughs> okay is there something okay. we need to know about are they gonna come back and try to stab us that's yeah, no. i think the big to be concern part of the trial here. no i don't think so but like you're but, not te that makes telling it sound us. Like I know what's going on, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. I really yeah. backed myself into a corner, haven't I? Yes, yep. you have. <laughs> a little bit. I did not want to have this conversation today. It's okay. We're just we're friends walking in the woods. It's no biggie. We're not gonna go tell the other teams that you got some like death threat vendetta against you or something it's well, fine so here's the thing is i thought that just getting doing the trials was going to solve everything but apparently 
it's not just that I have to do the trials. It's that I have to actually die. So um, that's it was news for me as well. Um, I may or may not, maybe, perhaps, maybe just a little, taking just like a little bit of money from my business partner's parents oh. when we when we yes. opened up shop. So uh, he found out, and uh, here I am. Cool, and then you got stabbed. That makes sense. Cool. All right. Uh, <laughs> he he uh, wants you dead. Apparently. I what? thought that he just wanted to get rid of me for a while, and then I'd come back and it would be all fine, but... Well, how so much was that... did you steal? Yeah, how much? And was that the guy who... Was it your business partner that, that stabbed you? Like, I who... don't know who stabbed me, unfortunately. I rolled a lot of really bad numbers, so... <laughs> I love how um, we're, breaking, we're breaking the wall so hard. I love it. <laughs> uh, Can you I'm... roll uh, one more investigation check to continue on the path here for me? 29. Hell yeah. Ooh. All right. Ooh. It's yeah. like eagle eyes seeing your thieves can't um, leading you the right way. Not too far up ahead is the three tree stumps that you saw with the, the markings etched into them. And we have no idea what those markings mean. Yeah. Um, oh, as you get closer uh. to them, a uh, breeze of whimsical charms flow in the air and uh, the, you see that the markings have a soft purple glow to them. And as you get uh, even closer, they disappear um, as you're at the base of the tree trunk with the, the tunnel. Okay, somebody make a note that that shit was just glowing because that seems that's, that seems really weird and it wasn't the, doing that on our way here. The tree stump that's Before. closest to the tunnel entrance, can I stab it? <laughs> Sure, yeah. <laughs> um, roll happens. to attack. Cool. 21. Yeah, you uh, stabbed the shit out of this tree stump. Okay, cool. I just <gasps> want to see if anything happened. <laughs> Make a strength <laughs> check to remove your rapier from this tree stump. Oh, no. <gasps> Instead of doing that, Borba, can you help me get the tree stump <laughs> <laughs> the rapier out of the tree stump? <laughs> yeah, okay, sure. Uh, yeah, fine. Borba, make a strength check. It's a 20. Yeah, you take that out <laughs> like it's just a piece of paper in there. May cool. I do like an arcana no check on the tree stumps? Sure. Yeah, go for it. A 12. Okay. Uh, with a 12, Mila, you know that there definitely uh, is some sort of spell that was it trapped in these etchings uh, that seems to have been lifted as you've approached. Oh. Okay. That's it. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Do you slide down? Yes, head yeah. first. Oh, like last time. <laughs> yeah. Slip and slide <laughs> version. So inside, uh, Mila, you're first to go down. Um, there's the silkworms are still glowing. Oh, wait. Do you scream as your way as you go down the slide? <laughs> no. Okay. No, I'm quiet this time around. <laughs> nice. But yeah, it's like Space Mountain up in here with glowing um, glowworms, silkworms up on the cave as if like by stars. And um, you can approach the viney cage containing Skula. Hi, Skula. Hello. Have, have you come back with the key? Um, I don't have the key. I think one of my team members do, though. Um, I'm I, will, I, 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 I come down. As well, yeah, I, yeah. Down. yeah. We'll all come down. Here, I have it right here. Where, where does it need to go? Um, just give it to you, I guess. There was that uh, toony shaped hole in the cage, so oh. you would think that that seems like the yeah. right spot to put it. That right makes sense. There. I put it there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and Skula, you can reach out and grab uh, the ring now, and at <sighs> the moment that you touch it. Um, your cage like withers away as if passing a hundred years of age um, in an instant. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And she like, twirls around in little circles and hugs the ring close. <laughs> I am so, so grateful. Oh, you reunited me with my, 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 my little ring. <laughs> Guys, well. we totally are going to beat this trial. High five! We did High it! Five. <laughs> <laughs> Was it difficult? Did you have any trouble? No, we, we 
did extremely well, honestly. We actually did very well. He, yeah, yeah. Ran into that was... lock more guy. Yeah, we thing. killed we killed him super fast. It was yeah. Oh, made him good. tap yeah. dance though. Yeah, it was a really good dancer. Oh, really? I, I wouldn't have thought. <laughs> but thank you. Oh, uh, how can I? What can I? Um. Uh. I don't have anything I can give you, but you know what I can do is I can, I can show you the way back to the entrance of the trials. Ah, and you'll come Heck with yeah. us, right? Well, I don't know if I can come with you. I have my place here in the forest. Oh, she's talking. But you'll like come with us to where we we came came into the trial, right? Maybe I I'll keep an eye. Cause like we we have to bring you back with us. Well, oh, I think I'll think, get there. No worries. I th you don't have to worry about me. We're gonna be a okay. I think people are just constantly keeping tabs on us. You know, They're I don't. They're watching us. They're wild. They totally know okay. we won this trial. Yeah. They know already. Marge has got us. Say. She's got us. Yeah. Like yeah, if you a little like side eye. <laughs> like, do you want to roll insight, uh, Wilmer? It sounds like yeah, you we'll want to roll. roll insight. We'll roll yeah. Insight. <laughs> uh, Twenty-one. I see. That's a Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Wow. Hell yeah. Nice. Uh, Wilmer staring at Skula, who's holding her dear key and ring to her chest. She seems nothing but happy right now. Uh, twirling, she seems free and is able mm. to um, make her way uh, <laughs> back to her home in the forest. Okay. <laughs> yeah, if you want to lead, if you want to lead the way, that's awesome. We'll we'll just follow right along. Yeah, we'll follow Thanks. you. Thanks. I. Uh, she holds her hands out towards Wilmer, perhaps. Uh, in a show of good faith to, to have in a way that suggests she wants Wilmer to take her hand. Oh, oh, okay. I can, I can hold, I can hold your, wait, where, isn't this, wait, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> yes? Steve, isn't, isn't like holding hands a thing? Just hold her hand, it's fine. Oh. It's, it's not, no, just, yeah, I, I don't want her, I don't want her to get any ideas. I, I like, okay, and I'm just going to like turn to school and be like, I am I am holding your hands as a friend, okay? Oh yes, I know. I was just going to show you the way, the same way I showed you to to the oh. lake. Oh, okay. Will it hurt? Uh, Mila, did it maybe. hurt for you? It felt like a little buzz, but it was it was like a magical buzz. It was good. Oh, okay, okay. And then I'll I'll grab her hand. And I use my heart seeker ability. Yeah, and you see like a swirl of uh, blue mist swirl around your hand, Wilmer, and then you see um, a symbol of like a gate appear on your hand. Oh, cool. Guys, look, I got well, a gate on my hand. We're kind of matching. I have a little ring on my hand. High five. <laughs> <laughs> and as the two of you high five, uh, Mila, you would notice that your the ring fades as um, oh, her heart seeker ability has transferred now to Wilmer, showing uh, you all the way back to the trial entrance. Excellent. Well, have fun, and I hope that you get out just fine. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, she <laughs> just flutters off. Nice. And we're just gonna uh, be right back, folks. Oh no! And we're back! Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you all so much. Um, now you know the way back to the entrance of the trials, and I'll be on my way. I'll see you all soon. Bye bye! Hi, school. It was nice to meet you. I <laughs> slowly is just like wave confused. Like, Hi. <laughs> and yeah, you watch uh, Skula flow or, or fly um, up out the tunnel. And as she does, she kind of like shrinks in size to a normal pixie form. Um, and she goes on her merry way. Clove is also waving. <laughs> yes, <laughs> severed hand waving. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, then. I um, guess we better go. Because yes. we, yep. we did it. This was surprisingly easy. Um, oh, is Don't there a screen nearby that. that I can knock on? <laughs> <laughs> um, there are some like old branches from her cave that you can knock. Oh on yeah, there. yeah. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just bend down and knock on one of those branches real quick. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I will follow uh, the blue door on my hand. Yeah, great. And who is? Is it, Are you leading the party, Wilmer? Yeah, I'll lead. Great. All Ooh. right. Uh, climbing out of the tunnel uh, in single file, file, Wilmer, you're the first to exit the cave, and you see um, some deer run by in the distance, and you hear the hoot of an owl, um, and you can make an investigation check to find the path that you were walking on before, if you'd like. Uh, that is a 20. Dirty. Ooh, nice. Dirty 20. You um, spot the path um, quite easily down um, to your right. Um, have they followed me out? or? Uh, yes, yeah, everyone's um, single yeah. filed their way out and you're all together again. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll dramatically point and wave them over and be like, this way! <laughs> all right. right. I play on 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 my bagpipe. I go, and we start walking. <laughs> I am suspicious, and I would like to have my rapier ready just in case. Yes, of course. You're out in the Feywilds. Who knows what might pop out at you? Mm-hmm. Um, and Wilmer, as you start walking to the uh, trail, can you give me an insight check? Yeah. And and like well. to also to also just stay hidden and, you know, just keep an eye, make sure they get out okay, you know? Yes, of course. Skula, you can give me um, a perception check or an investigation check to keep watching them as they go. I, I'll follow the bagpipes. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. You can't uh, miss them. <laughs> Wilmer, with your 12 insight, you feel the hum um, from the heart seeker on your hand, and it's not the it doesn't hum as strongly as you're following this path. Uh, can I do like a 360 spin and see if it like hums more in a certain direction? Yeah, yeah. Um, as you start to turn, you definitely feel a pull that's further to your left um, than this trail. Okay, I'm gonna turn around to the group. Be like, okay, folks. My brain says that the path is this way. But the hand says that the path is this way. So we follow and I'm the hand. In two different locations. <laughs> follow the hand. Follow the yes. hand. Yes. Steve, yeah. how, how, are you, how are you doing? I see you have your weapon out. What's going on? What are you thinking? I'm just very suspicious of everything. This felt too easy. Pull, I pull out my axe and I'm like, <laughs> we could go that way. We can, absolutely. I just. Okay, uh, but are you saying this way or this way? <laughs> I mean, like, we should do what the trial says and follow the, the, the symbols. The hand? We're yeah. following the hand? I think the hand, yes. That okay. being said, I have my rapier out and I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like there might be more to this trial than we anticipated, perhaps. We Skula... could, be, could be wrong, could be wrong, could be wrong, could be, like, totally Skula fine. Said, Skula said that it would show us our heart's desire. Are you thinking well, of something like... else? Well, my... I mean, uh, I mean, I'm thinking about my hand. Well, that's not where your hand <laughs> is. Your hand's right there. I think I, let's follow the I don't the know hand. how this works. I mean... <laughs> let's just go. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, it's fine. Borva, can you give me a wisdom uh, check? Oh, we can try. <laughs> <laughs> a wisdom, just a straight check, not a Yeah, not turn. a save. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> How's a crit fail? <laughs> All right. Um, Borba has many things. Wise is not one of them. <laughs> Borba, you are so certain that the trail was the trail that you came in on, and so you should definitely follow the trail back. Okay. So, I have a bad. I'm getting. I'm getting. I have a vibe right now, guys. A vibe. I'm getting a vibe. Vibe. And the vibe, yes, that's, I, <laughs> yeah, I'm getting a vibe right now, and I feel like, Wilmer, you're a little hesitant, and perhaps the 
symbol on your hand is not guiding us correctly because you are hesitant, I think maybe the path we were on is the right one. <laughs> uh, well, do we hear that? <laughs> uh, do you hear that? Mila, roll perception. Yeah. <laughs> perception. 20. Dirty 20. Ooh, uh, yeah, you hear a giggle on the winds. Guys, I heard a giggle. Frederick? Frederick? <laughs> Frederick? Fred? Fred, Fred do I need to shake those trees again? I swear to God, we went over this. Anyways, what I was saying was, <laughs> <laughs> we really need to keep on track. I really, really don't want to lose another trial. I'm really concerned that if we, like, go off and do a bunch of stuff, that other people are going to beat us to the exit. I don't know if there's also, multiple schools I... and multiple forests for them to save and all that stuff, but I'm... I really want to win, guys. I really want to win. I really want to win, too, but the hand. You guys know how I feel about hands. But the vibe, <laughs> though. <laughs> Clove is like, okay. Hello? What exactly did Marge say? Did she say, like, go in and come out the same way, though? Like, I She told she us just... to find Skula. That's she all she said. And then find your way that... back. Yeah, we yeah. said we I had guess to find her, release her, and I... find our way back. I think I think we should follow the hand. You guys got to make a decision. Board, I, yeah, I think so, I think the hand is the way to go. Fine, guys. I'm just saying, if this shit hits the fan, I'm, I fucking told you so. I'm just get my axe ready. Axe. I'm just like I'm, I told you so. I'm just saying yeah, it. I'm you're... preemptively saying I told you so. Okay? We can always leave marks <laughs> from here as we go, so that way we can find our way back if we go the wrong way. Oh, fine, I will fine. start marking trees again. Fine. I'm like passive aggressively being like, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, I will yep. change the marks of every tree after they pass. <laughs> What? <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll follow the hand. And uh, Steve, you're doing your thieves can't markings? On tree trunks? Same as before. Yeah. Some okay. of them say correct, some of them say incorrect. Okay, great. Uh, yeah, oh, you continue. They're, now they're totally going to get swapped, but. <laughs> <laughs> I, I tell Clove, you, you you remembered the way, okay? Uh, I trust you. Clove, like, nods with one index finger. And I need everyone... Or who is leading? Is it still Wilmer at the front? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. With the hand. And who's yeah. uh, right yeah. behind Wilmer? Me. Probably, yeah. yeah probably Mila? Mila? Okay. Wilmer, roll a perception check with disadvantage because you're staring at your hand. And Mila, you can roll it <laughs> regularly. Perception? Yeah. <laughs> I rolled that was a two 21. Uh, Wilmer, you're incredibly focused on your hand and don't notice anything. Um, Mila, you hear like a, a very quick whistling flying through uh, the air towards you. I hear a whistle. I duck. Uh, Mila ducks. Wilmer, you are hit. <laughs> uh, how Ow. much damage does oh, Wilmer God. take? Zero damage. Thanks, John. I'll write that down. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I did say I hear a whistle. So... Could have pulled me down with you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. If uh, if we're going to go off the assassinate uh, mechanic, then indeed these characters are surprised. <laughs> I believe it is a critical hit. Is that correct? Yes, you would be correct. <laughs> what? What is happening? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> uh, Twelve damage. 12 damage. Twelve Wilmer, damage. you take 12 uh, damage immediately. Mila, as you duck down, you see um, five glowing darts um, heading oh. straight toward Wilmer. Sorry, that was just one arrow. Oh, just one. One glowing dart flies towards Wilmer. I uh, I, I can do all five. I wasn't <laughs> sure if that was... Uh... <laughs> Uh, it's right your up. surprise round. You can do whatever oh, you like. Oh, absolutely. I'll do all five. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, 
Corbis point. sees this happen is like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh gosh. I'm never letting you guys live this one down if we live. <laughs> Little Mer. Off boy. But I see that I see all of that, right? Ow. Yeah, you you <laughs> duck, but you're still watching as these arrows fly. It's like in slow-mo, <laughs> um, but happening in real time very quickly. Okay. That one is 32. <laughs> the total is 32. All right. Wilmer, you take 32 Holy points fuck. of damage. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Dude. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, my Holy God. <laughs> Wilmer, oh are, you, are you still up? Oh, guys. I am barely up. <laughs> if I hadn't had that fucking wild magic surge... I would be out. Oh no. <laughs> I am oh, no. I am like like barely conscious on my feet. I am like wavering and like profusely bleeding everywhere. <laughs> okay, so Clove, I uh, I'm going to put my my hand out and Clove is going to jump to you and lay on hands. Well, I think we might be rolling. You're initiative. gonna, yeah. Really <laughs> We're gonna, as Will, you see Wilmer take these glowing uh, purple, like plum purple uh, shots to the chest. They all hit one after another on the same spot, piercing your heart, Wilmer. Um, and I'm gonna need everyone to roll initiative. Oh, <laughs> yeah. All right. I got nine. Fuck. 21. 12. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> Thank 20. you. 20 here. 20? All right. <laughs> Wilmer, on the ground, you are first to act. <laughs> uh, um, do I know where they, well, I guess I was looking at my hand. Um, <laughs> can I tell where they came from? Um, Is that an your action? eyes, you can take a free action of sweeping um, across the forest, but I will give you disadvantage as you're on the floor prone. Yeah. <laughs> uh, perception? Yeah, or, or investigation if you're actively searching. Oh, definitely investigation. Okay. Uh, with disadvantage is a seven. <laughs> yeah, you you see um, trees before you. You see the lunar moths flying by, but you don't see where um, these arrows, these this magical arrows, could have hit you from. Oh darn it! Um, uh, what am I gonna do? I, you know what I'm gonna do, Char? I am gonna <laughs> tuck and roll. And I'm gonna fucking turn into a tree, except not actually <laughs> pretend to be a tree. And hide Here we go. A tree. All right, yeah. Uh, you rush. It would be like standing up, and ten feet away uh, is a thick tree that you can duck behind. Go ahead and give me a stealth check. Oh, sorry, that's an eighteen. All righty, yeah. You are um, ducking behind that tree. All right, um, and I'm just gonna. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going <laughs> to let them wonder what the fuck happened after he got Wilmer? <laughs> Wilmer? Uh, oh yeah, you God. all can't really see where Wilmer was. He got hit with a bunch of fucking glittery arrows and is nowhere to be seen. Wilmer! Uh, I will avenge you! <laughs> it's at this <laughs> moment that vines burst from the floor in front of you on the trail um, in a 10 foot by 10 foot square, creating difficult terrain as they reach up and start grabbing at your feet. Uh, Skula, it is your turn. Okay. I will uh, appear with as much drama as I can, <laughs> down, down from the trees yeah. above. <laughs> oh, you were all so easy to trick, my darlings. I thought you would put up a better fight, and I will shoot. Um, who, whoever is most in view after who is behind? Uh, Mila was next to that the order. Was me. Yeah. I will 
shoot Mila, and I am <gasps> filled with euphoria because I did so much damage at the first <laughs> turn. <laughs> so I'm very excited about this one as well. Okay, so uh, multi attack, so uh, five oh. arrows. My goodness. That's why I got five sets of dice out. <laughs> oh, I'm about to get shiny math <laughs> You know, okay. it's been too easy for you guys lately. <laughs> yeah. I had to do something. <laughs> okay, so I they're... never know with you, Char. <laughs> uh. There is a a twenty to hit. Uh, yeah, that hits. Yep. A uh, math math twenty five to hit. Yep. A fourteen to hit. No. Okay. And uh, so assuming the ten will not hit either, and a sixteen. Yep. Okay, so three of them. Three hit. arrows. Oh no. <laughs> 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 Oh, I love your laugh. It's so good. <laughs> so there's an extra uh, d10 of radiant damage on top of these. From the euphoria, yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. Just pure euphoria pouring out. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. 20 okay. damage. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, Mila, these Sorry. arrows are coming p straight for your heart uh, from Skula, who has appeared before you. Um, and three of them pierce you <laughs> immediately so deep. Uh, two fly just missing clove over your, um, by your shoulder. And what, what you see is that uh, the ring that Skula is holding, she holds it out in front of her. She's holding, because it's larger than she is. It's like normal human right. size. And it turns into a bow at the front and there are five arrows lined up that just shoot straight out. That is so badass. I love Bad. it. I hate it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it, but I love it. Um, School, I trusted you. <laughs> what a fool. <laughs> and Mila, that'll be your turn. Unless you have a bonus action you'd like to take, Skula. Please, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I will wait to see what they do. I'm intrigued. Indeed. <laughs> uh, so, Mila, it is your turn. Uh, this is my turn. Um, I am going to put Skula to sleep. So, oh. that would be. Uh, I'm going to do it at a level one. Yep. Would an 18 hit? An 18 would normally hit, but as uh, your spell goes flying towards her. <laughs> Not so easy to put me to sleep, darling. Aww. Okay, then I am... <laughs> <laughs> I'm so upset. <laughs> I am... <laughs> oh. I'm gonna... Yeah, that's my turn. Okay, don't um, forget about Clove. Yes, Clove is gonna... Since we can't see Wilmer. Can I see Wilmer? Can Clove see Wilmer? Uh, you can roll a investigation check. Wilmer gave um, an 18 to hide. That was a 5, so no. No. <laughs> um, uh, Clove is gonna give her the finger. Yeah, <laughs> go for it. Roll the hit. With an 18 hit again. <laughs> I believe that is a miss. I a am miss. so sad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, is Clove <laughs> staying by you? Also, did you want to move anywhere, Mila? You didn't move. Um, I'm going to hide. I'm going to hide behind a tree. You can't hide. That's an action. <clears throat> Just kidding. Never mind. But you can, you can like run to a tree, but you can't actually actively take the stealth action. Would you still I'll like run to run to by a tree? a tree? Yeah, you can, I'll get, run by a you tree. can get half cover. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, Skula, you are flying like 70 feet in front of them, 30 feet up in the air, and you see uh, the little halfling with 
massive purple hair skitter behind a tree, the hair like poking out the sides. And if I can't see you, you can't see me. Uh, oh, but two can play at this game, and I would like to take a legendary action to go invisible. Before your eyes, Borba and Steve, uh, you just see a dust, um, a dusting of glitter appear where Skula was, um, and she appears to no longer be there. Borba, it is your turn. I would like to rage. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, okay, I'm pissed, I've had enough, and I'm gonna just run up to the spot that she is, hopefully she's still there, and just take a swing, because I'm not thinking clearly and my friends are hurt, so fuck it. Yeah, you rush forward, you're gonna have to jump, uh, make an athletics check. Okay, that is right over here, that's a 24. Yeah, you launch into the air with impressive gravitas uh, reaching up to the area that she is and because she's invisible you'll have to do this attack at disadvantage okay that's okay I'm gonna do that and it's a 16 so it doesn't fucking hit unfortunately <laughs> not uh, it is Floof's <laughs> turn as you are in the air um, all right, Floof is going to, at this point, he was in my bag again, so he's going to poke his head out, and he's unsure as to where she is, but he is going to death glare in her general vicinity and hope yep. that she is around. Is this a so wisdom save? It is a DC 11 strength saving throw. Perfect. Go ahead and roll that, Skula. Uh, sorry. Oh, sorry, strength saving throw? Strength? Yeah. It's a fail. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> you, so you... Yeah, go ahead and describe yeah, what Floof uh, does here. On, so, yeah, he, he stares daggers at your invisible form, <laughs> and uh, I guess it's just enough to kind of put you at an unease uh, cats don't usually death glare this hard. So the next charisma check or attack roll, you have disadvantage. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I love that. Um, uh, Borba, you still have um, about 10 feet of movement if you, or did you want to stay where you were? Um, I will move out of the area at least a little bit just because I don't want to be too close to her if she's going to attack, although that might give her an attack of opportunity, so I don't know if I want to do that now. Uh, I'll just, I'll just stand my guard. Never mind. I don't want to give her any attack of opportunity. Okay, great. Yeah. And Steve, it is your turn. So first of all, I'm going to yell out, if only my teammates had magical belts that allowed them to have their healing potions as bonus action. <laughs> and then I would like to uh, ring of ram uh, in Skula's general direction. Yes, go ahead and activate that ring um, for me. Uh, do I get sneak attack? Like, is she within five feet of Borba? Um, yeah, Borba didn't leave her area, so yeah. Yeah. Aren't I the in 17 the air? does not hit. Damn it, that's a lot of damage it would have been too. Oh! Okay. Uh, the, ra the ram spirit flies and as you were punching forward, it goes right past where Borba was. Um, and you remember that Borba had to jump to attack Skula in the air, unfortunately sending your ram uh, in the wrong direction. Would you like to take uh, a bonus action or move? Yeah, I'd like to hide as a bonus action, please. <laughs> yeah, uh, you dash over to a tree and go ahead and roll stealth. 19. Poof, yeah, basically invisible yourself as you duck into some brush. Uh, brush. And uh, Skula, did you have something you wanted to say? Yes, now I'm going to uh, teleport. Indeed. What? <laughs> go for it. You teleport. Don't say out loud where you are. Just DM it to me. <laughs> I will. <Okay. laughs> And that brings us to the top of the initiative order, Wilmer. Uh, I guess I don't heckin' know where Skula went um, at all. That's cool. Um, 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. I will. So first off, I'm gonna get the five points uh, for the magic surge on each of my turns. Indeed. You Reinstated. Have five oh, I should uh, say, six. if anybody doesn't know how temp HP works, um, at the beginning of each of your turns, you have that five HP back in the temp HP on roll 20. Um, so when you take damage, get rid of that five HP first and then uh, do your regular hit points. Yeah, so I have six total, Thank you. including the temp. Okay, right now. great. Um, and then I guess I'll drink a potion. Yeah, that's just a bonus action, baby. Go for yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, uh, what is it again? Uh, what kind of potion do you have? It was yeah, greater. Like how much do it was I a greater get healing, so it's so 4d4 4 4 plus 4. 4. Yeah. 4d4 4 4 plus what? Plus 4. 4. All right, so that's 11 plus 4, so that's 15. So now I have 21. Nice. HP. Basically almost full health again. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Lest we forget. Oh, um, no. Okay, so that's oh, a no, bonus no, no, action. Oh, no. uh, what do I want to do? I don't know where any of my friend are friends. My are. friend. <laughs> my friend. My um, singular. Yeah, Borba friend. hasn't hid, so you know where yeah, she is. Yeah, I'm out there. Uh, Mila's yeah. behind a tree, but not actively hiding either. Not quite hid. Um, yeah. I will hide again. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, go ahead and roll stealth. 23. He's a stealthy boy today. He's back in his element. Nice. <laughs> Among uh, the nice. trees. Among the trees. <laughs> you uh, seeing... This is the second time that you're trying to become a tree in the Feywild, and you take an active look at the tree that you're impersonating and realize how you can sort of form your body to really <laughs> be one with the Feywild woods. Um <laughs> <laughs> like pressing myself against it. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I just want to also remind everyone that although she is invisible, you can hold your action for when she mm -hmm. appears. If that is something yeah. that you would like to do. I just wanted to keep that in mind. Don't Wilmer feel just got too deaded. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you did your bonus action. You did your movement and you hid, which means it's my lair action. Um, the moon starts to shine incredibly bright um, down on the vines in this center of your battlefield. Um, and the brightness from this moon is, is almost like sunlight, making everything uh, no longer dim light, but you can all have regular vision for the next round of battle. Uh, Skula, it is your turn. Wonderful. Okay, well... Um from where I am, uh, I would like, well, hmm, I suppose who do I see? I, I know Borba is right in front of me, but uh, who else would I? You would be able to actively see Mila without doing a roll, and you'd have to roll to see um, Steve and Wilmer. Okay, well, I'll just, uh, while I'm still invisible, I will shoot at Mila. All right. Um, are we doing all five of them? Yes. Are we yes, spreading I'm... the love? All right. No, you just, you have no, sights no, no. only for all Mila. All five to Mila, and uh, as she does so, she whispers in Borba's, uh, or <laughs> speaks to Borba's specifically. Uh, you couldn't even defend your own family. Will you be able to defend your friends? My God. I'm uh... going to cry. <laughs> Okay, so a 22. Yeah, that hits. A 20. Yep. I don't a... think I've ever felt players hate me actively as an episode <laughs> is going on. I don't hate you. I don't hate you. I'm just disappointed. I hate the game, not the player. Uh, a 16. Yep. Yes. A 13. <laughs> no. And a 21. Yes. Okay, so four hit. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, one of them should have been a disadvantage, yeah? Yes. 
I'll, I'll just re-roll one of those shots with, with disadvantage. Okay, so that one would have missed, so three hit. Good call remembering. I gotta activate my brain a bit more. You have so much going on, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so 14 damage. Oh goodness, okay, awesome. <laughs> what are you at Yay. now, Mila? Seven. All right, and uh, Skula, did you want to move? Um. Yes, yeah, so I'll I'll just fly up into the air, I suppose. Sure. Yeah. Above, above, I'll, I'll stay above Borba, kind of taunting. <laughs> Try and catch me. And uh, Mila, it is your turn after you took that twenty points of damage. I am going to drink that potion. Go for it. <laughs> uh, four what, four what plus do I roll? Four. Sorry? 4d4 four four plus 4. 4d4 four. Four plus 4. That was a 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Great. Nice. So that was your bonus action. You are now free to take your action and movement. Um... I am. Do I see Skula at all, or is she still invisible? Um, uh, I'm not. I lose invisibility when, when you I take shoot. an action. Yeah, yeah so, so I'm, I'm visible. Yeah, uh, she's flying about twenty feet above Borba right now. Um, I'm gonna cast True Strike on her. Yep. So I, I extend my hand and I point at her. And the magic grants me a brief insight into the target's defenses. On my next turn, I gain advantage on my first attack roll against the target. Perfect. Nice. So that is my turn. And then Clove is gonna give her the finger again. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> and a six does not hit. Woo! Unfortunately no. not. Sadness. Spoola, Spoola gives the finger back. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> Borba, this pixie fairy tiny creature who just insulted you is flying 20 feet above you. What would you like to do? Um, I would like to say back to her, not yelling yet, but loud enough so that she can hear me. Listen, you bitch. I am going to get revenge for my family as my axe bursts into flames. But first, I am going to cut off your head and bring it back as a fucking trophy. And I'm going to just jump in the air and try to, with like as much of my axe as I can, like not hold like all of the handles, yeah. so it can get some more reach. Possible. And I'm just gonna take a fucking swing. Yes. Also, your rage because of your spirits, your ancestral spirits. If I if I hit, I have to hit. Her okay. First. Okay. Great. Yeah. They're just sitting behind me at this point. Yeah. <laughs> They're ready. <laughs> Go yeah. ahead and roll the hit. Okay. I don't have disadvantage anymore, though, do I? Or is it still a jump at disadvantage? Uh, no. Nope, Question nope. mark. Just normal. Yeah. Okay. That's a twenty. That hits, baby. Oh, cool. So that's seven plus two, and then I have to roll two d six again for fire damage. Yeah. So give me a second. I'm gonna roll two d six. That's uh, six fire damage. All right. And the as soon as I hit the uh, specifically the spiritual figure of my father, just like latches onto her shoulder and just like hold, like is just like. I'm here with you now, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! And what does this mean? She gets disadvantage on any attacks that aren't at you? Yes, she gets disadvantage to attacks that are not at me. I'll read it out here. I'll just kind of click on that and put it in the uh, Roll20 chat. Uh, until the start of your next turn. No, that's not what I need. The That target has disadvantage on any attack roll that isn't against you, and when the target hits a creature uh, other than you with the attack, They uh, that creature, so like my friends will have resistance to the damage dealt. Okay, nice. Until they are downed or, and then I like they are moved on to whatever other target I'm fighting. But there's no other target. It's just you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and what would 
Floof like to do? Uh, Floof would like to uh, leap out of my bag and do a vicious claws at uh, her as well. Yeah, go for it. Uh, that doesn't hit. That's a nine. He tried to. Unfortunately, best. not. He's she's just, just he's too high up. God damn. Yeah. <laughs> he just he's just a cat. He just he just a cute little kitty cat. <laughs> and um, I'll do another legendary action after. Yep, go for it. Barbara's turn. Um, I will teleport. But first, before teleporting, I'll say, Korak sends his regards, and then teleport. So Which really everyone enjoy can killing you. <laughs> I'm not invisible, so I suppose yeah. you'll. I, Just... I teleport into the trees, though. Yeah, mm. so you have like partial cover here. Uh, oh. Steve, it is your turn. Um, can I ask before I take my turn? Um, what would the use an object action cover? Because I can I can take that as a bonus action. Um, but I just don't know what that covers. Um, you can activate your little rascally rabbit creation. Uh, I got rid of that. It's in the it's in the lake now. Well, that it would cover <laughs> well, that. Um, okay. um, any sort of like interacting with things, like if you had to untie a rope or something, um, okay, or really. grab onto someone. Amazing. So, can I please then first off use my ring of the ram in her direction? Hopefully, mm -hmm. um, I'm yeah, assuming you see she's her. out of out of sneak attack range. Uh, yeah, she's too far from someone uh, from your allies. Twenty six. Ooh, yeah, that hits. That does six force damage and pushes her back five feet. Um, and then at, with my fast hands uh, bonus action, I would like to unravel the scroll that I have and see if that is helpful at all to us. Yes. Uh, you open your scroll and you find um, a prayer of healing. Um, give me an arcana check. Well. Who knows? Could be useful. 18. <laughs> An 18. Yeah, this, you know that this is a um, especially heightened version of this spell. It does not require the normal 10 minutes casting time. You can cast it as a bonus action. Cool. And um, this will heal your party. The whole party? I'm just looking Thanks, it up. Everyone. Dang. That's cool. pretty nice. Awesome. Yeah, up to six you. creatures of your choice. Thank Love you. it. Excellent. Um, did you take your action? Yeah, I uh, attacked. Oh, yeah, bring in the ram. Right, yeah. sorry. <laughs> uh, would you oh. like to move? No, I'm good, like, still in, in my tree area. Okay. <laughs> it was six damage for the ring? Yeah. Yes, and it pushed you back five feet. I only have one more charge of those. Ah! <laughs> 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 Uh, Steve! Oh, that was you. Wilmer! That's we're top me. of the initiative order. All right, bitch. You ready to <laughs> see what this tree is really made out of? Uh, <laughs> I got help, and I'm here to mess you up. So first up, I'm going to roll out from underneath, or out, out of the tree. Hell yeah. Uh, <laughs> Give I'm me acrobatics. Look. Oh, <laughs> What are the chances that I teleported next to Wilmer Tree? Um, I'll roll. I'll roll for it. <laughs> also, a nat 20 on my acrobatics, so I look whoop, super whoop, cool. Whoop. You are fucking James Bond <laughs> as yeah. you uh, roll out from under this tree. Sorry, I'm just getting my Titty Tower of Terror ready here. <laughs> is that from yeah. Geekwood? Wow. It is, indeed. <laughs> Geekwood for the Titty Tower of Terror. Ooh, ah. <laughs> All right. That was a nat one, my friend. So you are not <laughs> next to Wilmer. <laughs> oh, no. All right. I mean, so... oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I am going to roll out of this tree and I'm on a second level cast magic missile at her. Yes. So, so this that's is just four hit. darts. Yeah, that so, go piercing into her. Oh, I mean, it's not that exciting, but <laughs> that's you get one more up. though. Oh yeah, four, sorry. That's nine, 12 force damage. Well, so 12 force damage and then you bet your butt. 
I'm gonna uh, <laughs> meta magic and turn my uh, firebolt into a bonus action and yep. hit you with one of those bad boys too. And can we also roll your wild magic? Search? Oh yeah, <laughs> that's probably oh. a good idea. Eh? Come on now. It's so uh, okay, we're sixteen. We're fine. We're yeah, fine. you're good. <laughs> we're good. Uh, what are we up good, to though? Well, it just uh, reset, so I think now we're at three. Yeah. It's yeah. not high. So for a firebolt, I curl one mode of fire, so this is just an attack roll. And I nat Whoa! 20. Yeah, buddy! <laughs> so eat my fiery butt, Skula! <laughs> <laughs> is that what you shout as Wilmer? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Love it, love it. Uh, uh. So then I did nine fire damage. Uh, and then because I'm wearing my super cool astral shard monocle, yep. Oh yeah. And I use right meta magic. I get to <laughs> teleport the fuck away. So I'm just gonna try to teleport further away from her. Yeah. <laughs> great. I now establish myself as like enemy number one. <laughs> <laughs> you misty step Come on, kill away. The machine. Yes, I will. Uh, I don't know how far you go, but. So I go for 30 feet away further from where you are now, mm -hmm. so I don't know what our current uh, distance is. I think your distance is. is about 65 feet now. Okay, so that's like 100 <laughs> feet away. Quite the killing machine indeed. <sighs> and yes. I will go invisible. Bitch. <laughs> Skula disappears before your very eyes, uh, and it is my lair action, which um, the pink fog on the forest floor starts to have a bit more of a glimmer to it, and I need everyone uh, who's touching the floor currently to make a wisdom uh. saving throw. Uh, um, would this be against oh, magic? 20! Okay. This yeah, is against uh, magic. against fey magic. Yes. Cool. That I was... have advantage on intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throws against magic. I got a I'm five. Like a <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I got an eight. It didn't oh. matter. Oh. Uh, Big I can I spread? Can I spread my net twenty to like? <laughs> <laughs> Aaron? Unfortunately a not. Piece for you. Um, <laughs> as this uh, pink fog lifts up, it surrounds both Borba and Steve. And as it dissipates, you find that you have both switched places on the battlefield, meaning that Steve, you are uh, in plain view of Skula right now, and Borba, you oh, are no. near a tree. Oh, this could have been way worse. Okay. Have I told you I love your outfit, darling? You look absolutely amazing today. And that the bow is just a perfect accessory, really. Uh, Steve, as you start speaking about her bow, make a uh, intelligence check. Yes. Nine. Fuck. Um, oh, no. As the words fall out of your mouth, there's something about her bow that is peeking in your brain, but you can't quite place uh, She's also it invisible, is. actually, so really I'm just speaking to nothing, so. So it <laughs> works out that you don't know what you're looking at. <laughs> All <care>. right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which means, Skula, it is your turn. Ah, uh, well. Well. Uh, I'm going to shoot Borba. Great. Understandable. Yep. <laughs> Even the playing field at this point seems only fair after hitting everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> oh man, you got lucky. Okay. Um, <laughs> one of them is a 23. That hits. A 14. That does not hit. Okay, then that doesn't hit, that doesn't hit, that doesn't hit. So one, only one hits. All right. Ow. Oh. New armor's paying off. Yeah. <laughs> Ew. And what do I? And seven damage. What kind of damage? Pierce force force. Oh, it's force. Okay, never mind. I was like, I will be. I, I take the resistance to some stuff, but not mm. force. It is so, force damage. Um, sorry, how much? How much damage? Seven. Seven? Okay. Cool. Yes. Cool. Your rage doesn't uh, have all it's... damage? No, okay. it's uh, bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing. Right. Okay. Yeah. Perf. 
Any bonus actions, Gula? Um, um, I don't Movement. think to, unless I, no, I'm actually just, I'm just going to stay where I am. All right. And look smug. <laughs> 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 Mila, and you see a very smug pixie flying in the air. It is your turn. I don't like that. <laughs> at all. Um, uh, since I have advantage, I am going... Is she flying... Where, where is she flying around me? Anywhere near me? 20 feet near me? Um, you are... Where were you? You were in a bush? I um, was behind a tree. Behind a tree. I don't know which tree I was yeah, behind. Yeah, um, she's about 35 feet away from me right now. 35? Yep. Dang it. Um... But I have a crossbow, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna shoot at her. Yep, go for it. I'm gonna go... Ah! Unfortunately, a 12 exactly like that. Does uh, not a 12 hit. does not hit. Um, <laughs> so... Dance I, around it. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> um, <laughs> Skula does like a little pirouette in the air and just flies over your crossbow bolt, um, landing back where she was hovering before. I can dance too, it's fine. And... <laughs> <laughs> Clove is gonna give her the finger again. <laughs> yeah, all right. A 16. Unfortunately, not enough. Uh, Skula's resolve oh, is yeah. too strong for these unfortunate tiny insults given by this decrepit <laughs> hand. I am so sad. And I will say, I'll get you next time. <laughs> <laughs> you can try. <laughs> Seems your grandfather's not the only one who brings shame to your family. And I'll go invisible again. <laughs> oh my, <laughs> my gosh! <laughs> How dare you! How dare you! Wow. Wait. Yep, okay, yeah. Oof. Uh, did you want a bonus action, Mila? You can um, bardic inspo or anything? I'm gonna, I'm gonna inspire... Uh, Borba. All right. I'm gonna say, you can do it. I believe in you. You're awesome. Yay. That's, That's an extra D4. D D6. D6, sorry. Yes, thank you. Nice. Uh, Borba, so this fills you with a bit of, of warmth as Mila does her little uh, cheerleader dance at you. Don't worry, I got this. I and believe in you, Borba. <laughs> Go get her. She's making me cry. I'm gonna, oh. I'm gonna kill her. Don't worry. She almost made me cry too. <laughs> I mean, no, it's fine. I'm not upset. <laughs> it is your turn, <laughs> Barba. Okay. It, is she still invisible? Or uh, she... she just turned invisible. Yeah. Okay. 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 Cool, 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 cool. Did I? Can I do like a like perception or investigate? Yeah, you check can try and actively can, scan like... for her. Yep. I Go was... ahead and roll whichever is higher, investigation or perception. Yay! That's an 18. Performance check. Oh, I clicked the wrong one! You tap was, dance! Yes, that's a 12, sorry. I was um, like, <laughs> I'll take your, uh, yeah. Tw uh, that's, that's 12, just okay. do the 12. That's, yeah. the, that's the plus three to that, too. So okay, it's like, great. yeah. I just passed a little too low on roll 20. <laughs> so scanning from where you saw her previously, there's a, a slight shimmer, uh, but it's gone. You see, you know where she might be, uh, but you don't know for sure. Okay, I'm going to take out a, I'm gonna pull out a javelin. Can I do that within one action? I yeah. guess, yeah. And can I just huck it in the general direction of I think she is in? Yeah, go for it. Cool. Go ahead and roll to hit. That's a 26. Yeah, that flies through the air. Um, Somehow, as your javelin is flying, it shimmers and it takes a dart to the left. And oh. Skula, this pierces <laughs> you in the arm as if something helped your throw, Borba. Ooh, so that's four plus two because I'm in rage. So actually, yeah, I think that's, these are strength weapons, yeah. So that's four plus two, yeah, so six damage. All right, uh, did Floof want to do anything? 
Uh, Floof is with me near the tree, so I think... Uh, oh, he has another death glare, but I think he's gonna save it for now. So I think he's just gonna chill with me. He's not been doing so hot with his stuff lately, so he's a little embarrassed. Oh, okay. <laughs> Floof, like, <laughs> snuggles into you, uh, staying by your side for the yeah. emotional support. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Skula, did you want a legendary? Yeah. Mm, that's what I'm thinking about. Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? I went and visit. I'll, I'll teleport. And All I'll right. Tell you where. Yep. Go for it. Uh, meanwhile, Steve, it is your turn. Uh, what's up? It's my <laughs> turn. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. I am small. Um, and she's so high up in the air. <laughs> uh. Uh. Invisible or, or not anymore because teleportation? Question. She is invisible. still invisible. Still invisible. Okay. Um, can I hold my action uh, to shoot her with my crossbow when she becomes visible again? Yes, of course. Cool. That'll be, uh, just remind me when that happens. Because yes. I'll forget. Um, can I can I hold that and then like take a bonus action and yep. hide or is that like a no? No, yes, you can I'd still like do to that. take a bonus action and hide then, please. Continuing also. to hide, yes. Stealth check for me. Eleven. Oh, not the best. Uh, but you do <laughs> seem to slink behind a tree trunk that is uh, thicker than you are, being a gnome. All right, Wilmer, it. it is your turn. All right. Um, <clears throat> is it? If I try to attack her, is it like I have a vague idea, or is it just like I'm, I can't, I have no fucking idea where she is? Yeah, you'd be attacking with disadvantage. Uh, if you want to actively search for her first, uh, if you roll a fifteen or higher, you, the uh, disadvantage will be gone. Um. Yeah, I'll try to look for her. Great. And that's just free. Yep. Free action. Okay. And that's investigation. I'm guessing. Eh? Yeah. 19. Yeah, you see um, a shimmer uh, right behind your buddy Steve. How right behind my buddy Steve? <laughs> um, immediately right behind, Steve behind Steve, like within Yikes. stabbing distance. Okay. Um, oh, not again. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, it's fine. This will just hit a target. Uh, so I'm gonna <laughs> yell out to Steve and be like, I'm not trying to hit you! I'm sorry! Uh, and I'm gonna, uh, use my final second level slot to throw a couple Scorchin Rays at, Ooh. uh, Skula. Indeed, um, go ahead. These are ranged attacks, and I get three. Ooh. Nat 20 on one of them! Nat 20 Ooh. and 18 and a 20. Nice. Do they all hit? Um, the 20, the 26, and the, and the not the 18. So the first and okay. the last hit. The first and the last hit. All right, so that is uh, 16 plus seven fire damage, which is a number <laughs> that is... <laughs> Uh, 23? 23? Yeah. Yeah. That feels right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Math. Nah. Um, then, uh, I am going to, <laughs> uh, cry. <laughs> uh, action cry. Action cry. Bonus action cry. And, um, did you want to move? Did you want to use sort of thinking? Points. Uh, not really. Um, I think what he's gonna do is he's just gonna, <laughs> uh, he's gonna, like, try to stand behind the tree. So he's hiding a little. Slightly harder topic. Uh, uh, target. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Ducking behind a tree, having some cover there. Uh, mm. slightly harder to see. And it is my lair action. Um... As uh, the fog is still 
here, you see the vines once more burst forward and another 10 foot by 10 foot area is difficult terrain, which is um, Steve, uh, your feet now feel the vines around your ankles. Don't like it. Skula, it is your turn. <laughs> but what do those vines uh, do? Does that give any sort of... Um, it's difficult terrain for uh, movement through it, and if you start your turn in it, you will have to do a strength saving throw or be grappled. Okay, okay. But no one's grappled right now? No. Okay. All right, well, I know it's with disadvantage, but I am just going to shoot Steve. Since I'm... <laughs> Right there. Right behind him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Go for it. Okay, so disadvantage. First one is... Be fair. Uh, 22 for the first one. That, that, yeah, that would that would hit. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Lucky it was disadvantage, because it was a nat 20. But it's a 8 for the... So 15 for the second. That also hits. Ooh. Another nat 20, though. Yes. Um, <laughs> uh, 24 for the third. Ah, uh, it hits you! <laughs> <laughs> 11 for the fourth. That does not hit. Okay. And the last one is 18. Yeah, yeah, that hits! Okay, so four of them hit. Uh, it's disadvantage, or, or sorry, resistance to the damage dealt because of the uh, warrior thing, because oh. of my rage. So okay. you'll oh, take, oh. yeah, the, you'll take half of the damage. <sighs> I just remembered, That's, I was yeah, like, oh wait, That no. is good. <laughs> that is very what good. With <laughs> oh, this okay, is so intense. So. Three plus this nine is thirty-one. Thirty-one. Oh, then. All righty then. Okay. Divided by two, so, so fifteen. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, so but that's 15. half. Okay, that's not that bad then. Fifteen damage. What are you at, Steve? Twenty-six. All right. That's, so that's really not that bad. Mm. Is she visible now? The, though? the spectral warriors, like helping out, are just like, "You're welcome." <laughs> <laughs> you. uh, it, are you visible now, though? Uh, yeah, she you. is you visible, are. which means that you can attack. I shoot with and your crossbow. Nineteen. That hits. Seven piercing damage. Okay. Piercing okay. A damage. <clears throat> All right, then. You will regret that, Steve. At the fire moats? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm hiding behind a tree. <laughs> Mila, it is your turn. Sorry, uh, uh, Josephine was saying something. Oh, sorry, go for mm, it. No, 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 no. It can oh. wait. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. ominous. Ominous, yeah. <laughs> mm. Um, I am going to cast Hideous Laughter at Skula. Yep, and um, you have advantage for this, right? Or is this a saving throw? Because you cast True Strike before. I did. I did cast tr True Strike before. Yeah, we can do that. This is a saving um, throw. But this is a saving, is a saving throw, saving so throw. it doesn't matter. Did you uh, want to cast something else? Uh, no, I my, my True Strike was for... That like crossbow thing that I did that I failed. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. Thank you. Um, Sorry. So that is a wisdom saving throw. Seventeen DC. Twenty. Never mind. <laughs> <Oof>. <laughs> but I laugh nonetheless. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice try. Mila gives her the finger. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> and Clove's fo Clove follows her and also gives uh, uh, School of the Finger failing miserably, but the oh, intention man. is still there. All right, lots of <laughs> um, insults being thrown via appendages. Did you want to legendary action? Yes, my eyes will lock onto Vorba now, and I will use 
know your enemy. All right. Borba, it is your turn. Hey, I don't know what that means. <laughs> uh, how far away am I from Skula? Uh, you're about 30 feet away. Okay, I'm just going to chuck another javelin. Yep, go for it. 23? Yeah, that hits. Well, that is another six damage. All right. Yeah, and then uh, Floof's going to go ahead and do another de death glare. Just because. Yeah. As your javelin goes flying through the air, Floof pops out of, by your shoulder, uh, staring down Skula uh, with the exact same accuracy as this javelin. And uh, Skula, you have to make a DC 11 strength saving throw. I do not, I do not pass. All right, yep. Uh, <laughs> so you have disadvantage on your next attack. Cool. Okay. Which okay. means, uh, Borba, did you want to move at all? Are you good not where you right are? Not right now. All not right. right now. I'm just staring her down. Yeah. Yeah. Stings. Keeping tabs. I'm staring right back. Mila still has her fingers up. <laughs> 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 She's just... Mm. Um, Anger. Um, let's do a my. Oh man, I don't want to use my last ring of ram, but I <laughs> most damage. <laughs> yeah, we'll do it. The last ring of the ram. All right, pushing your fist forward towards nope. Skula. and I hit nothing. Unfortunately, 13. with that 13, uh, <laughs> your ram spirit flows by her, um, almost swirling around her in a sort of tango dance move um, and <laughs> dissipates into the forest. Not just your arrows that miss, it seems. And I will um, teleport next to Borba. All right. How convenient. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a hide, please. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and roll stealth. <laughs> 21. Woo! Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, one with the trees once more, uh, Steve. With your gnomish size, uh, you become almost invisible. Wilmer, it is your turn. All right. Um, well, starting off, I forgot to roll my wild magic surge last For that scorch. Turn. Yeah. Yep, so I'll do it retroactively, and I pass. Uh, so I am going to probably immediately roll it again because I'm going to cast magic. Wait, can I see, uh, Skula? Yeah. yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. She's right oh, by Borba. Okay, cool. So we'll, uh, magic missile first level and throw three super cool, super pointy magic darts <laughs> right at her face. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Go for Feeling it. Machine. <laughs> Feeling machine. Uh, so that is 11 force damage. Nice. All right. Don't, don't you have four, right? Are you uh, using no? uh, second oh. level or first Actually, level? Actually, uh, I tired myself out with the first couple, Just so kidding. I can't do four anymore, okay? <laughs> you don't have to be rude about it. Wow. I just, thought, I just thought you had more to offer. Um, <laughs> okay. That's fine. <laughs> and I'm going to step back behind my tree. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing, uh, having this interaction with Skula, Wilmer, you clock that she can't take much more of what you guys are offering. Good. Um, also, I rolled uh, the wild magic again, and I passed again. Woohoo! Yay! 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 Skula! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> um, Skula, as uh, you feel the amount of damage you've taken, uh, the spirits around you start to glow uh, and lunar moths land on your body and you are healed for <laughs> 10 hit points. Well. And it is your turn. <clears throat> yes, I will uh, shoot at Borba. So I've, there's something that was giving me disadvantage. Correct? For one of your shots, yeah. 
Uh, I think for my first shot, and then although know your good. enemy gives me advantage, so just straight. Cancels out. Okay. Yeah. Great. Cool. cool. <laughs> um, then five shots going towards Borba. And if okay, I should do this in order because if the first one hits, then uh, attack until it's turn. Uh, if this one hits, Borba will have disadvantage on all her attacks until my next turn. 24? Cool. Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the ah! range! <laughs> and then a uh, 18? Yep. Uh, yes. yes. Yep. A 14? No. Uh, okay, so the others miss. Two of them hit. That's uh, 16 damage. Okay. And yes, yeah, so... Uh, I have disadvantage on... On attack uh, rolls. Attack, attack rolls specifically, not the damage dealt or anything. No, it yeah, doesn't just have on any a... damage, just mm -mm. the actual rolls. Okay. Attack cool, cool. rolls until the start of my next turn. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And that was 16 damage, right? Yes, that's okay. correct. Thank you. All right, and as school is uh, done firing her arrows, um, Wilmer, you hear a voice in your ear saying, Hi, hello. Uh, hello? Hi, it's me, Frederick. Hi, Frederick. It seems We're like trying to get... you could use some help. I heard you yelling. Yeah. I got real badly hurt, and I'm okay now, but my friends are getting really badly hurt now. Oh, that sucks. Hmm. Yeah, it does suck. Can you help? Um, I don't know if I can or not. School is really scary. And, oh, uh, did you see me hurling that fire? I'm pretty scary too, okay? Go ahead and uh, roll a persuasion check for me, Wilmer. And Skula, roll an intimidation check. Um, okay. So I'm not 20. Uh, <laughs> so me and Frederick are best friends. Holy <laughs> cow. <laughs> uh, I'll still have school a roll. She may not 20 as well. Odds are probably it's, not. <laughs> no, no. Not at all. And uh, Frederick um, rubs her fingers together uh, and then she snaps and um, fairy fire fills the space, coating every uh, player character and Skula as well. Um, do you know Damn. much about fairy fire, Wilmer? No. Oh. Okay, roll an arcana check. Okay. 10. Uh, okay, yeah, you don't know much about fairy fire. Um, <laughs> okay. There's a glow that's around everybody in this space. And uh, you'll probably see what happens uh, in the coming rounds. Okay. Who just went? Was it Skula? Yes. Okay, yeah. Mila, it is your turn. Um, I would like... Uh, she's visible, yes? Yes. She is indeed visible. Yes. Okay. I am going to cast Truth Strike on her again. Yep. So I have advantage next time I try attacking her. And um, I can't hide, can I? Um, not, uh, it's a full action, yeah. Yeah, um, I'll just, you know, step behind a tree. Yep, give yourself my some hair partial probably, cover. Yeah, my hair is probably gonna be <laughs> all over the place. Um, but Clove is gonna be on my shoulder and it's gonna um, give her the finger again. Oh, whoa, what a surprise! <laughs> That was a 12. It does not hit. Oh, boy. Clove. Got to step sadness, up, my dude. Sadness. Sadness. <laughs> Clove is just not having a good day, you know? <laughs> he just feels a bit demoralized. Yes, just shame all around you. Follows you everywhere. I'll get you next time, Skula. Borba, it is your turn. You're a mean one. All right, I'm going to... She's still beside me, right? Oh, uh, Skula, did you want to legendary action? Yeah. Yes, uh, <laughs> I will. I will teleport away from the barbarian. Yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> uh, you teleport 20 feet into the forest. Uh, Borba, it is your turn. I'll okay, go can next, I, next can to I... Wilmer. Okay, Sorry. great. Next to Wilmer? Okay. Bitch. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I can run 20 feet. I have the speed of 30, so I'm just going to run at her with my axe and uh, swing it at disadvantage. That's a 16, but I'm going to roll uh, my inspiration, if that's okay. Yep. Can I do that? Go for it. Cool. And that's a d6. You that's a at least a three. Two. Hell yeah. Yeah, so you hit. I hit. So that's 10, 11, 12. And then I'm going to roll 2d6 for the fire damage. And that's 11 fire damage. Let's go. Yeah. I, as, as I'm doing it, as I uh, run over, I'm like, you got something on your face. And I swing my axe directly into her face. <laughs> um, hitting right across her cheek, a thick uh, gash appears on Skula's uh, fade-like cheek. Dare you. You just want to ruin everything around you, don't you? No, just you. It's not Flipster. what Korak says. Oh, he counts too. Don't worry. I'll get to him. Uh, uh, Floof would like to also jump out at her and do vicious claws. Yeah. Do you want to pounce? Like, you rushed. Actually, yeah. I Yeah, it's 20 feet, so I totally can. I can uh, pounce and then bite, actually. So, yes. Uh... So pounce, uh, the target must succeed a DC 12 strength saving throw or be knocked prone. And if you are knocked prone, then Floof can make a bite attack against you as a bonus Net action. Net 20. Woo! Well, that ain't happening. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Like, well, you like, you like making animals angry too? Because you're just making my animal angry now. I thought fairies were, I thought fairies were supposed to be about the forest, but that's fine. Floof's just like glaring, but not actually death glaring. <laughs> this does not seem like a forest cat to me. Not your type of forest. I don't think anybody would want to be in your type of forest. Whose turn is it? I'm getting angry. Let's go. <laughs> Steve, it is your turn. And uh, would you like the legendary? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to uh, use Know Your Enemy against Wilmer. All right. Rude. How <laughs> far away am I from Skula? Um, you would have to cross the vines to get to her um, or go around them, which is like, a, they're like 20 feet wide now. Um, but if you go straight towards her, you're about 20 feet through the vines. Am I... Oh, and you have to do a strength saving throw because you're starting your turn in the vines. You ah! might be grappled. Ah! I have such a good, I have a fun idea though. Okay, but I'm gonna- <laughs> You still could do like, it, maybe. Here's the thing. I would like to try to get out of the vines and climb a tree. You might not even be grappled. So do your strength save first. 13. Okay, yeah. Uh, you are grappled, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm small. Um, well, okay. Can I can I crossbow? Yep. Okay, I'll crossbow uh, with sneak attack because she's I'm assuming within five feet of um, another enemy. Yeah, she's because Borba was right there. A ten oh. doesn't hit, so it doesn't matter. All <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, bonus action. Hide in the vines. <laughs> yeah, I guess hide in the vines. <laughs> um, is your uh. Your use an action can be used as a bonus action. Sorry? Your, sorry, your use an item can be a bonus action. Is that right? Uh, yeah, I'm just looking at fast hands. I can do a dexterity, sleight of hand check, use my thieves tools to, to disarm a trap or open a lock or take a use an object okay. item. Okay, um, I'll say that you can try one more strength check as your bonus action. Okay, cool. It's like opening a lock, right? Yeah, a lock of vines. <laughs> Ten. <laughs> All right, still stuck there. <laughs> Wilbur, <laughs> it is your turn. Uh, Skula, did you want to legendary? Uh, no, I think I've used... Some... Okay. Yeah. 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 Go for it, Wilmer. Is and I can see her right beside me, right? Oh, there we go. Sorry, <laughs> say again. I can see her right beside me. Yep. I'm, I'm, yeah, Wait, I wouldn't be like... I don't need to be within five feet of you. 
Yeah, and but so, you're... I mean, and, like, you're there. Yes, 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 yes. I am near you. Um, would one say that you are within, um... Oh, so, you, okay. So how, how, how close is Skula to me is my question. Um, are you in the air right now, Skula? I presumably I'm always in the yeah, air. Yeah, so about 15 feet away from you, Wilmer. Maybe 10 feet. Okay. Um, uh, first up, I'm going to, uh, first level, uh, shoot three magic missiles. Yep. <laughs> magic darts at Skula. So that is uh, 10 force damage. Yep. You okay. You see, um, <laughs> a little bit of fear in Skula's eyes. Okay. Um, <laughs> and then <laughs> I will, uh, I'll use my sorcery points to cast, uh, wait, I'll roll on the d20 real quick. I pass. And then I'm gonna, uh, I'll, I'll fire bolt her. Yep. Um, and that is just a cantrip attack. Oh, and I crit Ooh. fail. Unfortunately, nothing happens with this fire bolt. It, um, you lose control of it as you cast, and it swirls around you and into the vines uh, at your feet, singeing hey, some Shark. of them. Yep. That's not the only thing that happens. <gasps> <gasps> oh no! Oh. I rolled a three. <laughs> Wait, Power but that's a cantrip. Yeah, but isn't it all spells? Isn't that what we went? Didn't we go over? There? I thought it was only level ones Wait. and higher. Oh, you're right. It's only level ones or higher. Oh, I got all excited. Ooh. I wanted stuff to happen. <laughs> I got so excited. I wanted cool got stuff so to happen. Uh, <laughs> Skula, it is your turn. Okay, I'm a little annoyed at uh, that uh, volley of magic missiles that just came my way. I've been watching Wilmer nonstop this past round. And uh, so it'll be a straight roll for the first shot, even though it's not Borba. And then the rest will be at disadvantage, is that correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Five arrows are coming your way. As I say, you shall never be worthy, and no one will ever find you worthy. First one's a nat 20. That cut a little deep. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> the second oh. one is a 21. Yep, that hits. Oh, to hit. Yes, yes. The <laughs> okay. third one the, the third one is a 24 to hit. Yeah, that Jesus. hits. Jesus. The fourth one is a 17 to hit. That hits. And the fifth is a 20 to hit. That also hits. But you were saved from two criticals, at least. Whew. Only Plus, one crit. Yeah. Plus, you'll take half Bad. damage, so. Oh, oh yeah. Crit. At least I'll take half damage. It still just might be one a crit, ton. You know. Yeah, just one crit, and you just know, five. As a treat. <laughs> Arrows. <laughs> Again. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Let me math for a moment. All right. <laughs> I just stare upsettingly into your eyes. <laughs> I whimper. I am worthy. Oh, I know I am. I, it's not my fault that I'm squishy. <laughs> I cast this armor so I wouldn't be squishy and then you keep hitting me. <laughs> what um, color is your armor right now? Uh, your mage armor. In my head, it's like this cool blo glowing light blue. Hmm. Let's find out about this damage. Yes, it's 41. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, divided by two. Oh. So 20 you round up? points of damage. 20. 20 points of damage. Yeah. 20 points of damage, okay. Are you still standing? Hey, guess what, bitch? <laughs> I look back into his eye. I look back into her eyes with my one HP, <laughs> bleeding out again. 
fuck you. Oh <laughs> my god. Oh no. <laughs> These lucky rolls. Holy shit. Yeah, oh, so oh. Worthless. I'm beginning to get bored of this. Has nothing to do with my own health at this moment. <laughs> <clears throat> sure. Perhaps, I don't believe you. Can I roll insight? <laughs> um, yes, go ahead and roll insight. <laughs> At this very loud speech that Skula is giving. Yeah, sorry, 13. You can roll with advantage, um, as you were the one that just shot at her. 13 again. <laughs> wow, okay. Um, yeah, you saw the fear in her eyes before. Uh, although she attacked with such strength, you know that she can't take much more. Okay. C sorry, continue. Continue. Sorry. I just mm. was... I mm. thought you were a little sus there for a sec, but... Look, <laughs> we don't need to continue on this way. You're all a little heartier than I thought. I was really hoping to get you there, Wilma. <laughs> um, why don't we cut a deal? I'll stop shooting at you. You stop swinging at me. It's mutually beneficial. Is it, though? Hit her! Is it, though? <laughs> And I'll show you where Korak's office is. Blarba? Huh. And... Interesting. And... Can I do, like, an insight or anything like that? Yeah, go ahead. To uh, 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 21. Uh, yeah, you hear truth ringing in her voice as she's speaking. Are you afraid because you're about to die? <laughs> oh, preposterous me. Powerful schooler. No, never, not at all. I've just grown bored of this fight has gone on forever. And, and Korak, you know, doesn't respect me enough anyway. And why not? It should be fun to watch, you know? Can I do that intelligence check on her bow now that I can see her? <laughs> yes. Like, you're not even listening. You're just like, what's this bow? Love it. <laughs> I mean, it's it's um, but... As this is happening, as she is monologuing, you have a chance to really <laughs> stare at her bow. Roll again with, give yourself advantage here. Even 12. like, yeah, okay. Uh, with a 12, the way that her bow appears with the five arrows that she launches, uh, you connect this with the D symbol that was on the tree stump. Oh, <sighs> well then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, per perhaps uh, some of you are putting together that yes, this was all a ruse, all a plan, all a trick. Part of the trials, you might say, but uh, some of the higher ups were not so keen on your trying to bring down these said trials. So uh, I put my to... bracelet away. <laughs> <laughs> Roll deception, I... Mila. So, uh, you're you're just expecting us to believe that you'll just hand over or show us where Korok's office is after the shit you just pulled. You're just yeah. expecting us to trust you when I could literally cut off your head right now. Oh, you that could, was a 17 but then. Deception. <laughs> then you, uh, you wouldn't know Korak's greatest weakness that I have knowledge of. I think you should give us something so that we know we can trust you. Oh. A little, just a little yeah. tidbit, you know? Yeah, because I, I, I tried to suss you out earlier because I thought you seemed a little suspicious. But then you seemed like you weren't suspicious when I, when I tried to suss you out. Um, and now um, I just don't trust anything that you say. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> um, hmm. what, what, what would you like to know then? Borba? Well, a little thing. thing. A you little. Could... Then we need to agree to the deal, and then we will, you know, continue. Just a little too Well, tidbit. I mean, you could tell us the general direction of the office, and uh, then maybe when we get there, you tell us the secrets. I don't know. Hmm? I can tell you the general direction, yes. Perhaps. And could... then... If you fuck us over, then I can still get there and kill the asshole. 
I think that you'll have quite some trouble killing him without knowing this weakness, for he has uh, surmounted a great amount of power, you see. All right. Well, what's his weak? Uh, I am going to. Can I threaten her with a crossbow? Just like point it at her and say, "What's his weakness?" Tell yeah. us. Yeah. Roll intimidation. <laughs> Just cut to the chase. Uh, intimidation. That was uh, not an eleven. Mm, uh, Sad. Not so scary. Uh, not so scary, unfortunately. <laughs> Your hands quiver uh, under the weight of the crossbow. <laughs> You usually are not fighting with <laughs> this two feet tall little halfling, just like tell us the secret. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, his office is uh, in the attic of the trials themselves, but it is very, very hidden. I'm uh, gonna go over and I'm gonna I'm gonna try to stealthily talk to Steve, like just kind of whisper <laughs> into her ear. Okay, go um, ahead and roll first a stealth check. Yeah, and then go ahead and say what you want to say. Uh, okay, <laughs> <laughs> with a uh, seven. On so that I'm gonna I'm gonna whisper into Steve's ear. I'll be like, Hey, hey, Steve. Um, remember when they? Okay, well, remember when I told you that they said that. Uh, Whoever's in charge is always watching. I don't know if they want us to know that we're trying to take down the trials. And I think that uh, if we if we accept uh, her help, it's going to make it a lot, a lot, a lot harder. Because then they'll know that we, we uh, well, you or whoever else is, is trying to take down the trials. And I, um, like, I think we should, but I also don't want to, to, to real die. Can I hear that with a passive perception of 19? <laughs> what, with yes. <my> seven stealth <laughs> rolls? Seven stealth <laughs> Can you hear what I just said? <laughs> yes, most definitely. Oh, dear. They already know that you're trying to dismantle this whole thing. That's why I was sent after you, you fool. All right. Did so no one else get this, like, trial? Oh, others have, but you're the ones trying to take it apart, aren't you? First things first, I want you to drop your weapon. Yes, yeah, so I was about to say, hand the bow over, and then I can think I can trust and then you we a can, bit more. Then we can work business and not kill you, and we can move on. Roll intimidation with advantage. I will indeed. If I give you this 16. bow, we have a deal then? Sure. I show you yeah. the way, I, sh I tell you Korak's weakness, and we leave it at that. Sure thing, yeah. Yes. Totally. Can I roll insight? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I love how much everyone I is so distrustful. Like, <laughs> I got um, an 18. Um, yeah, you really... You hear the quiver behind her voice. She does not want to die. Yes, I want the bow and the information. That okay. way I know you're not shooting me in the back on my way out. <laughs> That's not my style, dear. Um, you literally did that to me <laughs> at the beginning. <laughs> uh, I would beg to differ. This is your style. Pish posh, pish posh. Okay. The... <laughs> Weakness. <clears throat> there is an amulet that lies around Korak's neck. It uh, is on a black chain, and there is a some sort of galaxy, a sea of stars inside that swirls within it. And this is where he draws his power. Where the hell did he find something like this? Well, there are very many amazing patrons, I will have you know. Although, I'm a bit needy, and so I wouldn't mind having a little more attention from mine and not sharing it so much with Korak. <laughs> what good has he done me, anyway? Um, yes, well, there you have it. That's how you will, uh, defeat your dear brother. And she starts sort of like, Slowly, like sort of <laughs> fluttering away. Slowly wait, away. Wait, did did the hand thing ever work? Is it still gonna help us get out? 
Oh, ah, let me, let's change that up, shall we? I will lead you right to the office. Borba, perhaps your hand would be best for this. Don't try anything funny. Like, oh, me. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Never. Oh. And I will use the Heartseeker ability to lead to Korak's office. And then I begin slinking again, just slowly fluttering <laughs> back a little bit at a time. Like, I'm like, if Steve, I see you, you again. Wanna... Oh, sorry, go ahead. If I see you again, we're going to have problems. Yeah, mm. don't come back. Also, I think we missed out on another part of that deal. Yeah, wait a minute. You said you, you were going to show a us. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You thought oh, we were just going to forget? Okay. She looks at the ring for a good moment. <clears throat> Flutters over to Steve. Well, good luck. And hands it over. Thank you. Goodbye now. It was so nice uh, dancing with you all. And she flies away. <laughs> 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 and Steve, you now have Bolzen, um, a ring that can transform into a magical bow and arrow that shoots five arrows um, every action. And with the newfound knowledge of your enemy in all of your hearts, you feel yourselves level up. And ah! <laughs> You lose your stomachs as you are transported back into the Wildwell Trial Auditorium. Borba, you feel the hum on your hand intensify as you are back in the trial area. And that is where we will end today's episode. <laughs> <sighs> Woo! I'm I so can't. sorry. I feel so mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was I so much fun. That was really good. Oh, yeah. I loved oh, it. I loved it. I loved it. That was so much fun. We have housekeeping though to do unfortunately <laughs> at the end uh you can find us on patreon at patreon.com forward slash tabletop titties for some bonus episodes behind the scenes content wilmer's adventuring journal and more if you would like to give these titties a little extra support um uh we have merch you see amanda's got her tabletop titties pillow and uh, Man the rachel and i are both wearing shirts uh you can find it tabletop titties.threadless.com don't forget to give us a follow on the socials at tabletop titties and if you tweet using hashtag TT titties, you might find yourself in the world of fear for it, maybe in the trials as an NPC. All of this information can be found on our website, which is www.tabletoptitties.com. And every time I'm saying titties, it's with double D's. Josephine, do you want to tell everybody where they can find you one last time? Yes, yes you can find me uh, basically on every... Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, it's all at JCVIM, twitch.tv slash JCVIM. That's where you'll find uh, Eclipse, which is our mothership RPG on Friday nights uh, with a stellar crew on that as well. And uh, I will also be, well, it's very secret, but there will be a D&D &D show upcoming Ooh. in a few Ooh. weeks time nice as well it's cryptic and vague and not useful for me to that. <laughs> but they can find out more on your twitter yes yeah. and uh there's there also be a, a little special uh charity one shot happening in march with some vampires you may recognize uh yes also vague <laughs> and but it's in march and yes you'll i'll, I'll share more about that as Time passes. <laughs> quite, quite lovely. And of course, you'll also be on Drinking and Screaming in our season four. Um, yes. Talking about some some fun films you've been on. So I'm really excited about that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> All righty. Um, that's it, everybody. We're done. See you next time. Woo Bye. Bye. Bye.